Today, we're going to be talking about how Florida Georgia Line have changed the country music landscape and how basically they've been keeping the genre relevant for the last 10 years. And let me explain. Florida Georgia Line are a group little out of Florida and Georgia. They came out with the debut single Cruise in late, um, late 2011, and they got some buzz in 2012, and then it basically was gone. Nelly hopped on the remix, and then the song got more radio play. It peaked at number four on the Billboard Hot 100, and eventually went diamond within a year. That was a pretty big feat for them. They had follow-up singles like Get Your Shine On, and then a new album came out, Dirt. They had um, they had a single on their Dirt, Confessions. Um, what's it called? How about the money? Yeah. Yeah, and all right, everybody knows that anything goes. Yeah, that's the name of the album, anything goes. Okay, so anything goes to sing on that. That was country radio. Then we had this is how we roll a team up with Luke Bryan that had a Jason Drew pop remix. And then recently, you know, last year the biggest hit to date, other than Cruz, meant to be with BB Rexa, which isn't a country song, but since they're in it, they claim that's a country song. And that song was huge last year, and it kind of it basically dominated the country chart for 52 weeks straight, a whole year. That and Tequila were the only two songs to really be on the chart for a whole year last year. So basically, Florida Georgia Line have paved the way for bro country to be acceptable for most of this decade. Bro country line is going to die out after Blake Shelton and Luke Bryan used it all up with their two singles they had. And then we had Sam Hunt come to play. He was also a guy who hopped on the bro country trend. And Sam Hunt was very successful. Buy like a back road, waste your time, um, house party. The Florida Georgia Line sort of really innovators in this stuff. And I don't think a lot of people give him a lot of credit. Sure, you might not like their music. Sure, you might think that it's tired and repetitive. And this may be true. And I'm a fan of them to a stand, but I know they're not the greatest thing ever. But you have to admit, without Florida Georgia Line appearing on the scene with that single cruise, Taylor Swift, when she left country music, basically it was starting to go into a vacuum. Luke Brown and Blake Shelter could only do but so much. There was only two guys, and they didn't have that crossover hit really like that. They had high charting singles like um, Boys Round Here and, um, dang, Drunk on You, but high on summertime. That was Luke Bryan's single. And they had a couple more hits, and Jason Aldean had burned it down. And they had a couple of bro country splashes here to there with those three guys. But we're talking about somebody for the youth. We're talking about somebody for country radio and had pop radio play. I heard Florida Georgia Lines on a pop station before, and that was very rare how it happens, only four times. That's how we roll, cruise the remix, meant to be, and I heard Dirt and Holy was on the pop station and alternative station for a while. Hi, I'm loving you. So, in the grand scheme of things, no matter what you think about Florida Georgia Line, Florida Georgia Lines have really kept this country music genre alive for the majority of this decade. Because while all of them coming, when Taylor Swift left country in 2012 and decided to go full prop, basically, he had a bunch of middle-aged old white dudes, and they weren't going to cut it. And who else were you going to rely on? You know, even Blake Shelton and Luke Bryan, if they fizzled out, what else would you rely on? Kid Rock? You would have relied on Bradley Gilbert? You would have relied on um, Granger Smith and <sighs> Brett Young? Um, who else? It's just a number of them. But none of them had like, that crossover appeal that Florida Georgia Line had. So... I guess I want to just say that these guys, in a way, should they should get that legend status. I mean, there's not many people that can save a whole genre, and they may not be the most talented guys, but their their effectiveness and their longevity proves that have a simple songs that really talk about nothing but basically the equivalent of a rap song, but the singing white dude country version, bro country in a way. It, I guess it was a wave that kind of did help. The country music scene and it kept it alive so i think Florida george line needs to get more credit a lot of people aren't giving them the credit they deserve a lot of people are saying that they just don't belong and i disagree with that because without florida george line where would you be at now but anyway this is your man chef just give me some country music introspective i will be having the, the fall off i believe um i have some country music artists i'm doing for the fall off so you know just stay tuned it's your boy chef I'm off the dome like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. Now, I know you guys don't think it's important, but it kind of is important. So, thank you.